sucks for you in Houston, Texas. And I just got another grow light from Mars Hydro and I'm really excited about this one because it's a more narrow model and um, most of the ones I've had are, you know, more square uh, or rectangular. So let's open it up, plug it in and uh, test it out. A nice foam and a like hard piece of wood to protect. These are going to be, these are the, uh, the LEDs and I believe it said there's 322 LEDs. Full spectrum, of course. And this is it. Oh, it's, that's fancy. <laughs> Look at that. It's, what about three inches this way and then, um, almost two feet long. 20, 23 and a half uh, inches, I believe. So, and then it's got these really cool, it doesn't have a fan, but look at these, this is like ventilation things. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. So you know what we're doing next. We're going to plug it in, see how bright it is, and then hang it up. Most grow lights like this don't have like an on-off switch. You do want to be using a timer anyways, because you know, who's got time to keep up with remembering when to turn on your lights every day and um, then turn them off again. So I use the analog timer. Right now I'm just going to plug this into a power strip. Hi, Ninjas. Woo! That is nice. That just lit up the whole room. <laughs> Check that out. I'm going to try and look at it for a second. Yeah. Super bright. And um, oh, this would be great for like a shelf, like a, a skinny kind of shelf fixture. Maybe have a couple of these, um, maybe on those wire shelves if you have that. Oh, I should take this off while I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, it's very, it's dainty, um, but it, I mean, it feels sturdy, but just I mean that the shape of it is, is, is very sleek. This is really nice. And it feels like, Good quality, really good quality. And um, most of these usually have a, like a dimmable option somewhere up under here where you can like pop the little casing off and then adjust it with a screwdriver. But again, we're gonna just leave it bright. And um, yeah, this is, I really like this. See how skinny it is? And then hook up there and there. Do the same thing down here. Remember the free end, the free end is gonna be the part that attaches to your hook. So the other one goes right there. And then there's this little switch. These are a little bit different than the other I have, but same idea. Okay, got some slack. And the same thing down here. There we are, super easy to install those, and now we're gonna go hang it up. So I've taken over this little breakfast area and decided to set up my seedling tray. I have the other Mars Hydro TS-1000, I believe, and um, they're really happy in here. They didn't have to deal with the stress of the heat outdoors. We got some AC, no worry about the rain or the humidity really in here. And I have to show you guys a couple of things because they've been doing really well. This is an Epiphyllum seedling that I started July 1st. And this is another one that's not even what, a quarter of the size of this one. <laughs> it's crazy, it is crazy. It's crazy watching this grow and how fast it grew once it started going and I'm um, probably gonna need to repot it pretty soon. And I'll have a bunch of other little cactus seedlings, of course. And then I have um, some Vicarias. See how big they are? Let me move this light out of the way. And it's so nice to be able to have a nice natural white grow light. So I'm just not a fan of the purple, blue, red, whatever's. And I always tell people that when they're asking me, like, what kind of grow light should I get? And like, go for full spectrum, please. You will thank me later. Here's some lithops. Hey, guys. 
But I do want to see how um, these new lights do, how the seedlings react compared to this guy right here. So I'm going to hang this other one up in its place for a couple of weeks. Keep an eye out, see how they respond. Are y'all ready? Ta-da! This is going to be my new favorite room in the house, besides the garage. That doesn't count, right? Because it's not really in the house. <laughs> oh, I really like these lights. They're, uh, I just want to show you. Look how, look how skinny, how sleek they are. So this would definitely be good for, you might need a different style of hanger for them, but to put them, um, if you if you have a shelf and you want to put, um, hang them up onto the shelf, you could do that. Um, hang them above the shelf. You can hang it vertically if you want to, but um, just add extra light to supplement light. If you already have a grow light, you can do that. And then I installed this other light right underneath there, and then I'll put, a tray down here and I can put some more plants on there. And I just used the, the clip that it was hanging off from before and it's little hangers right here. Wrap them up through the shelf both sides and then connected them together with the ratchet clip and pulled it really tight. And that's that. I'm gonna decide what to put down there but I'm really happy with this new setup and I think I'm going to enjoy it over the winter time. And I'll probably put a little beanbag chair or something so I can just come and hang out, stare at my plants. Like the nerd I am. Yeah, I'm really happy with these. They're really pretty. Those are some pretty lights, man. <laughs> so I'll link to these lights in the video description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you could push that subscribe button for me, if you haven't already, I'd be very, very grateful. I really thank y'all for watching.